The t-shirt sold by Cross and Freckle, a New York-based fashion upstart, don't look revolutionary at first glance. They come in black or white, they're cut for a unisex fit, and they sell for $25. Each of them has a little design embroidered into the cotton that references staples of New York City life, pigeons, dollar pizza slices, subway rats. Sarah McBride, the brand's co-founder, likens the t-shirts to the New York City summer uniform. But McBride didn't actually design the shirts. Neither did anyone else. They were designed instead by a neural network, which crunched doodle data from millions of people and spit out the original art that makes up the embroidery. Cross and Freckle isn't the first company to use AI to generate art, people have been doing that for years. But this project offers a glimpse into the nascent world of AI-generated fashion, where designers use machine learning models to remix and riff on old designs. Cross and Freckle doesn't just use AI to create its designs, it also got the brand's name and logo from a neural net called the hipster business name generator and used an AI text generator to create the mumbo jumbo marketing copy on the company's website. It's a new model for a brand that relies entirely on AI. Code mode the embroidered designs look like something a child might have scribbled with a crayon, or something an adult might have drawn with a computer mouse on Microsoft Paint. That's actually not far off, the graphics came out of a variational autoencoder trained on data from Google Creative Labs game Quick, Draw which has collected over a million doodles from people around the world. Quick, draw works like Pictionary, draw a giraffe or a light bulb or a slice of pizza, and the computer guesses what it is. In aggregate, the drawings make up what Google calls the world's largest doodling dataset. Paul Blankley, who handles Cross and Freckle's technical side, created the autoencoder and fed it doodles of pigeons, rats, pizza, and dogs from Google's dataset. There are hundreds of thousands of drawings for each of the different categories from countries all over the world, he says. So you get this cool mix of what does the world think it means to be a doodle of a pigeon, or a doodle of a piece of pizza. The autoencoder riffed on those drawings, creating its own original designs. What's great with generative AI is that it will churn out a bunch of different options so you can choose what might be the best version of a puppy or pizza slice for a t-shirt, or which hipster name is the most random but still real sounding, says McBride.